close your eyes and watch your breath. And if you find that your mind wanders away from the breath, then bring it right back. Keep at it. Remind yourself you're doing good work here, getting the mind under your control. And you're keeping it focused on something good, something that gives nourishment both to the heart and to the mind. Because as the mind goes running around, the heart gets dragged along with it. And both of them need time to settle down, to be at peace, in order to maintain their health and maintain their goodness. There's a Thai term, Nam Chai. Literally it means heart juice or heart water. But what it actually means is the quality of the heart that is happy to help other people. That's generous, doesn't want to harm anybody, wants to go out of their way, be happy to go out of their way. And this is an important part of the practice. Sometimes we read about Buddhist wisdom and it sounds like it's all about the brain figuring things out. But in Buddhism, the word for mind and heart is one word, citta. And so when you're training, you're training both the heart and the mind. And it's the quality of the heart that enables the, the mind part to understand things properly. When there are all too many people who can read books and explain Buddhist concepts, but they don't have that quality of the heart. And so there's a lot they don't understand. And so when you come and practice generosity, practice virtue, meditate on thoughts of goodwill, we're developing the heart juice, the good part of the heart that will sustain us as we practice. And it's in developing these things that we actually learn a lot about the power of the mind to shape its environment, not only into the future, but also right here, right now. The power of the heart to make the changes. So it's good that we're training these parts of the heart through our generosity, through our virtue, and through developing thoughts of goodwill, goodwill for all beings everywhere. May they all understand the causes for true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. What this means is that you're not saying, well, may you be happy doing whatever you're doing. If people are robbing banks, people being corrupt, people doing horrible things to other people, may they stop. May they see the error of their ways and stop. And start developing good qualities on their part, too. And this is a thought you can have for anybody. Is the people already good? Okay, there's, may they continue in their goodness. Then you look at yourself. If there's anything that you're doing that's not skillful, you should be happy to learn how to un let go of it, change your habits. As for your good habits, try to encourage them. Because there's so much out in the world that doesn't encourage them. They encourage us if in our greed. They encourage us in our anger. They encourage us in our delusion. We have to fight those influences by encouraging ourselves in terms of generosity, virtue, thoughts of goodwill. It's in this way that both the heart and the mind get developed. And it's when they get developed together that their development is all around and complete.